Fade, you're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them! Too slow. Why do I even bother? We need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well then, maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Dead, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Harkin. Who the hell is Harkin? He's CSEC. We work together, sort of. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. Concussive shot ready.
Get ready. Heavy mech overhead. Watch out! at CSEC? Yeah, he was a pain in the ass back then, too. But I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Whatever it takes. Exactly. I knew you'd understand. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't but cooperate? I need him alive, so. I won't do any permanent You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. I've got no problem with that. Somehow I didn't think you would. We won't catch him waiting here. Right behind you.
You were close, but not close enough! So, Fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. That had to hurt. Maybe you should just tell us what we want to know. Maybe. I still haven't heard what you want. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. Maybe give Cecil the blood trail to follow. Bastard! You're getting off easy, Harkin. What'd I ever do to you? Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Don't waste your time on him. Let Seasek deal with him now. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. I'd do the same if I were you. I learned from the best. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. You just want me to get him in position? Basically, keep him talking for a minute. When I've got him in my sights, I'll let you know. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit.
Betrayal repaid Sidonis. That was easy enough. This is what happens when you let things get personal. I need to know this is over. Yeah, it's over. I can move on. Glad to hear it. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Shepard, I've got a problem and I may need your help. But I need to ask you something first. I need to know if I can trust you. Some of this might involve fleet security. Cerberus cannot be involved. You have my word. If necessary, I'll contact the elusive man to make sure he stays out. Don't bother. He just lied to you. Hearing it from you is enough. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard. To have garbage like that following you, it marks you in ways you you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I don't want this affecting our mission. Can't kill all that bad shit so easy, I guess. Have to live with it. Fucked up or not, the rest of the galaxy can deal. I don't care how you do it, this doesn't sidetrack us again. Understood? Yes, sir. Commander, sir. Whatever. Look, seriously though, you did something for me and... Ah, shit. I'm not used to saying thanks. Or not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we'd better not run out of targets. I need you to stay in line, Grunt. If you can't stay focused, you're a danger. I'd never stab you in the back, Shepard. Warriors like you and me, straight to the face. Kidding. Kidding. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged the Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, 
Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I never actually reached the rank of captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Har as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Tali Zora Vas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. On the run! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Gran, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zora Vas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tali crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tali's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vasnima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. 
I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Zalcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. <laughs> What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I thought Borians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tali of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just... Doctor, those real. It's a husk, a collector minion. No, Vitor. This is Shepard, a friend of Talizora's. Shepard rescued you from Freedom's Progress. Do you remember? Shepard! Shepard gave me the Cerberus! Too many questions. Can't sleep. Can't eat. Wrong answers. Poor Vitor. What did Cerberus do to him? When they returned Vitor to us, he was suffering from malnutrition, exhaustion, dehydration, and the after-effects of several drugs. I was told that Cerberus would just get him stabilized and get information from him. Too many questions. Needles for wrong answers. Can't breathe. Suit's air not working. Can't breathe. They said he would be safe. I knew we couldn't trust them. Uh, excuse me. Your presence seems to be disturbing my patient. I didn't mean to upset him. I'll leave. Doctor, is it time for the meds yet? I need my meds. Not yet, Vitor. Soon.
Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces, and certainly not enough to make that many guess. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Call Rieger. Shepard, Talizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. How have you been, Rieger? Beat a kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Tally Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Shepard spoke well to the Admirals. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though, Tally's in good hands. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving rail inactive equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. 
put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quibquib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of death, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Kira Selai.
This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification, clues to their thinking. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Did 
you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. We should keep moving. Right.
console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Your father was deliberately networking the Geth to Sapiens to do weapons tests. That breaks our most sacred laws. Laws that predate our flight from the homeworld. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please... Don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. Sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? found nothing on the Alaride that we wish to submit as evidence. Tally? I have nothing to say. Then, with no further testimony, I ask those rendering judgments to do so now. Zora, you are hereby found guilty of treason against the Quarian people and sentenced to exile. Shepard was Normandy. The fleet appreciates the passion and honor with which you represented one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please, don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. 
Tal is over of us, Normandy. You have six hours to leave. Would you like to request any personal possessions from the fleet? No. Thank you, Admiral. Everything I need is here. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. Well, that's that. I'm ready to go whenever you are. I did what you wanted, Tally. But I still don't agree with it. It's not what I had hoped for either. But the good of the people comes first. My father taught me that. Thank you for honoring my decision. It means more to me than... It means a great deal. It's strange. After I walk out of here, I don't know where I'm going. Do you want to talk to anyone before we go? Or get anything? We can say goodbye if you like. Honestly, I'm fine either way. And I'm not just saying that. This whole trial, the politics, my father, it showed me where I'm supposed to be. On the Normandy, helping you. It sounds like your people are gearing up to attack the Geth. You don't wish you could stay and stop that? I'm trying to save my people from the Reapers. It's not up to me whether they go to war with the Geth. I'm doing what I can. If they get themselves killed through their own stupidity, my conscience is clean. I'm glad to hear it, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's go home. Thank you, Captain. <laughs>